a tutorial for Model 4 Pipe Support of the Mass Properties Analysis Activity. This Model 4 is actually created using the metric system. All previous ones that we've been using have been using the English system. The easiest way to convert into the metric system on Inventor is to go into a new part. And over here on the left, you'll notice that it says Templates. And if you select Metric, you can grab the standard millimeter IPT to begin your sketch. So just like before, I'm going to start a 2D sketch on the XY plane. And I am going to create the stock of this part. So I'll be using my rectangle. And I'll start at the origin. And I need to create a stock that has a width of 100, tab, and it has an overall height of 65. I'll zoom out so you can see everything here. I'm going to extrude this piece. as an overall distance of 50. So I'll type in 50, and then I'm just going to change direction so that it goes into the negative Z, and I'll say OK. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to remove the material on either side of this front view. So I'm going to start a sketch on this front face, and I'm going to begin by drawing two rectangles, one in the upper left, and then one in the upper right. To constrain both of these to the same dimensions, I'm going to go ahead and put an equal symbol on here. And I'm going to grab the width of my right one to the width of my left one, and the height of my right one to the height of my left one. I'm going to put an overall width of this rectangle at 30 millimeters. And then I'm going to put an overall height of this rectangle at 50 millimeters. I'm going to select Finish Sketch, and I'm going to extrude each of those profiles. And I need to cut extrude, so I'm going to change this to a cut extrusion. And I need to figure out how far back that needs to go. The extrusion should be a cut of 35 millimeters. Next, I need to create a sketch on this remaining portion here. And I need to create first a rectangle, starting at the top of my part, going down. And then I need to create a arc on the top. So I'm going to come over here to the arc, and I'll grab this bottom portion of the arc. I need to make sure that I'm on the three-point arc. So if I click on the lower left of my rectangle that I just drew, and the lower right of the rectangle that I just drew, and I bring it down. I'm going to make it the same diameter as what is uh, given on for my rectangle. So I'm going to right-click OK, and I need to dimension to go ahead and dimension this arc. And the arc is going to be given to me as a radius, so I need to type in the radius that it shows there, and the radius shows 12. I now need to dimension the distance of my rectangle and three-point arc to the bottom of my part is going to be 40. So I'm going to grab the bottom of my part and my arc, and that distance should be 40. Center my piece. So if I click on my vertical constraint and I grab the center of my arc to the center of my piece. I will see that that will properly align. Then I'm going to finish sketch. I'm going to extrude and I'm going to grab both profiles. I will change this distance to all and make sure that it extrudes all the way back. Selecting OK. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the portion of the face in the front of my part. So I'm going to start a sketch on this face. And to best do this, if I click Project Geometry, I can select this face. And now I do not have to redraw this arc 
and rectangle that we just did. I'm going to now instead take my line tool and I'm going to connect from this bottom corner to the other bottom corner here, sealing this off and creating a piece of geometry. And I'm going to finish sketch. I now need to extrude just that portion. And it is going to be a cut extrusion. And the distance is going to be four millimeters. So I'm going to change this to a cut extrusion and change the distance to four. Next, I need to create the whole feature. I'm going to create a sketch on this side of my face. I'm going to place a point on that face. I'm going to dimension it, locating it from left to right. This distance is going to be 15 millimeters. And then I'm going to locate that hole from the top is going to be also 15 millimeters. I'm going to click H on my keyboard so that it brings up the whole command. The whole feature on here is showing a 10 millimeter diameter. So I'm going to change this to 10 millimeters. And I'm going to make sure that it has a termination of two all so that it goes through the other side. And I'm going to select OK. Next, I'm going to create the hole on either side of the base. I will place two points, one on the left side, one on the right, and I will make them equal to each other. I'm going to select dimension, the point to the right side is going to be 15 millimeters. We'll do the same on this side by selecting the left side for this point. And when I'm here, I can simply come over here and grab 15, and it will lock that in as a parametric. Then I'm going to dimension the point for the front portion of my part, and this distance also needs to be 15 millimeters. And to do the same, I'll dimension, I'll grab my point to the front, and I will select on this 15 so that it locks that in. Press H on my keyboard, bringing up the hole command. These holes are 12 millimeters. With a termination of through all, selecting OK. Next, I need to create the chamfer. Using my chamfer tool, the note on the drawing tells you that the chamfers are 15 millimeters. So I will change this distance to 15, and I will select both front edges. Say OK. Lastly, what I'm going to do is create the fillets. I will use the fillet tool, and I'm going to change the radius to 15 millimeters. I will then grab the edge of each of my fillets, and I will click OK. Lastly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the material up here at Generic, and I'm going to change this to soft yellow brass. And if I scroll up to brass, soft yellow, my part is now changed. And I've completed model four pipe support.